Sounds like my neighbor. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Every now and again, I <clears throat> I go outside and he's just in his running car, passed out. Nice behind the wheel. That's pretty good. Did you put a banana in the tailpipe? I did. You know what I did? Uh-uh. I burned that house down while they were sleeping. I, honestly? Yeah. I got my Get them out of the neighborhood. Not I'm Jason. Do it. And yeah. I'm Jules. I, I, I'm going to do that for him, and then he's going to do bad things for me. Yep. And we, we doing, doing spookies. spookies. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, a very special movie that is only available on a on a film forum that's invite only. Mm-hmm. Big thanks to Mike. Except for it's not. I also found it on uh, the Cave of Forgotten Cinema today when I was trying to find more information about it. The only reason we're doing this f-ing episode is because I thought I had a special gem. Tell me about your thinkings behind that. I'm interested. I don't know, man. It popped up on that forum, mm-hmm. and it's a horror movie. And people were like, this really hard-to-find movie. And I was like, I don't know. The, the pictures look kind of okay. It's a horror movie. I need a spooky. Let's do it. Yeah. Do you want like a formal apology for being no, so no, upset no, no, about no, 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 no. Uh, that Stephen Dorff movie last year? Yeah, no, I was gonna say this is your fear.com. Except for I com. keep fear.com in you. But I like fear.com. I didn't like this. I didn't either. I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> it just felt like. Do we tell people about our buzz oh. balls? Yeah. <laughs> what a great name. Buzz balls, watermelon chiller. It's not even that cold, even though it's been in my little fridge. It's oh, it's got wine in it. What? Orange wine with watermelon juice. That's what? This is made with fifteen percent recycled plastic. What was it you were gonna say? I thought this was glass. What? About the movie? Oh yeah, no, I mean uh, it made me feel like um Spooky Manor. Oh, with them boys in the basement? Back on the f them spooky ghosts up. It's gonna f*** them spooky ghosts up real good. Make them ghosts of ghosts. Spooks twice removed. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, obviously this is slightly better than that, I guess, but... Man, no, you know what? I don't think it is. It looks good, you're right. This movie, I what I will say about this movie... It's a lot of style over substance. Mm-hmm. It looks great. It's yeah. cheap as shit sometimes. Oh, yeah. I mean, all Most of, of the cheap. time. Because the main guy, he's like multiple characters, right? Kind of. He's the milkman. Yeah. He's the Afro killer. He's not. He's not? He's the other guy that you think is the Afro killer. He's acting like the Afro killer. But he puts killer. an Afro on. But oh, there's it's... the other guy, and the other guy is the serial killer. Who's the other guy? The guy who was yelling at the little kid earlier. Get the hell out of here. Woman. You go ahead and call the f***ing You have cops. five seconds to get out of here, or I call the cops. You, I don't oh, care. Oh, at the pool. He's okay. the killer of the movie. I thought that was what was happening, but then I was like, you know what? I don't care. Do you want me to do the synop- Do you? Oh, oh hey. Julian, what kind of trivia you got for this movie? Uh, it exists. It does. And at, at least two people have watched it. The people it, on Letterboxd are like, somebody watch this movie. I need to talk about this movie with somebody. Yeah, I couldn't find anything. Or, yeah, we don't want to talk about it, but you can watch this no, movie. No, yeah. Call in and rate us and then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, call in and rate us? <laughs> hey, you guys are uh, you're good. Yep. You're sexy. And you're live. <laughs> Jason, stop starving yourself, though. Your, your bones. I know. <laughs> it's really gotten out of hand, man. No, but why don't you hit me with that synopsis? I gotta find it. Here's This is really thorough. <laughs> Lost prophet. Local dipshit Jim, James Burton, stumbles around haplessly before inhabiting an empty mansion. After meeting a procession of weirdos, what was found is now lost, prophet. <laughs> yeah. The synopsis for this on IMDb, I guess, is kind of technically true, but it, I think, lends far more to the mind's fantasy of what this movie might be about as compared to what it is actually about. Oh, yes. Okay. About the different people he meets. Unstable man spends the summer in an empty mansion where he meets punks, serial killers, and witches. Yeah. You're thinking, oh. Maybe, it does sound kind of good, right? We have a spook fest. Yeah. I mean, I, the witch, is that just the chick 
the end. Yeah, she's doing she witchy puts shit. On the thing and she's holding that poor mouse. Oh, that's right. For a long time. Yeah. She's got the dagger in the other hand. The punks, I guess I get. He doesn't meet him, though. No, he doesn't. He doesn't kill him, though, either, right? It's the other guy. Because he wakes up and he's got blood on his hand. He wipes it off. Maybe he is that and guy. And then he finds, I think, a bloody towel in the bathroom. And then, and then, and then for the next chunk of eternity he's just laying in the bathroom while the pipe's dripping so the movie starts let me ask you just real quick yeah this or outwater <laughs> Rocky! Rocky! What is happening? this right yeah because it's short at least and you can see it and it's nice to look at so yeah this movie man um it kind of just sort of starts and this scene is actually really cool because i'm wondering like is it just that they know of a road that gets really um foggy you know because like it's almost like he's walking out of a forest fire just a, a you know county road on a bend with just a wall of smoke or something behind him. I thought maybe they just degraded the f*** out of the footage because it Could looks be. way worse than everything else in the movie. And he's stumbling. And he does a lot of this mutter talking. I can't understand any of it. Is he schizophrenic? Is that like those are know. the voices in his head? Is he responding to them? Is that why we can barely hear them? He, he, he is apparently a, a prophet of sorts, though. Or is his name Jim Prophet? That's not him. That's the other guy. Oh. Okay, so, so he's doing that stuff down the street, yeah. and then and the next up, is this where he, he gets the duck? He gets a duck, yeah, and he kills it. The park ranger shows up. He's playing with that duck head for a while, he goes to, to sleep. Yeah. And then the park ranger shows up. Why would you do this? But it's clearly just somebody they know. Oh, yeah. In an outfit they slap together which is unfortunate because that's the first moment where i was like oh home yeah movie you can tell that all of his lines when you don't see him and he's pointing as the guy runs away are all 80 yard he's always running off like he a is. crazy person he looks like jim morrison a little bit from, okay. the, from that that band jimmy hendrick experience yeah J- jimmy hendrick hendrick then we see oh boy yeah and this dude comes out what the hell are you doing you. He reminds Jerk. me a lot of the guy who played Edward Nigma on Gotham. But nowhere, but everywhere, except where something is. And he was also in that super great black and white AIDS movie with Michael Chiklis. Dear Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to spend this Christmas together. We pray that there are many more days like this to come, many more memories for us to look forward to. We pray that you'll continue to teach us how to love each other unconditionally, just the way that you love us. Mm, real sad, real good. Interesting. I haven't heard of it. So that guy, he looks like that guy, the 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 one who gets angry at the child and starts uh, telling him to get out of there. And that kid's like, "Fuck you!" I hated that kid. I wanted to rip him in half. This is the moment where I was like, "Maybe I think we should probably do an episode on this. This but is I, this has got some personality." I did like the kid at the very end. Yeah, of that was like, I was like, "Oh shit, this guy's actually." He was a pretty good acting. And so, you know, he punches the guy in the face. I'm going to throw you Don't across that fence. Woman. Yeah. And runs away. On the Just talking the maddest mm-hmm. while he's running away. Mm-hmm. You ain't you pussy. You prick ass. He's just, you know. Yeah. And he gets into his little boat and he starts boating away. You As Jim, Jim boats comes up and he's in. like, hey, this guy's funny. And the kid looks at him and he goes, mm, you're all right. Yeah, this guy's cool. I like him. And then Jim lands and... Runs into that chick. And she's doing a research project? I don't know. And she brings him in? For some reason. But after he eats, he wigs out and runs away? Yes, but then... It's the off-season like resort area. I don't know why yeah. that mansion's right there behind it, but all the cabins, it makes sense. That's prob- the offices are probably upstairs, and then they probably got like a banquet for weddings. Okay. You know. Do oh, you want to get married there? Yeah, I do. We're in. <laughs> Seven six three six three four one eight nine seven. Send us your brides. Oh, I was, uh, donate to the wedding. Mm-hmm. As we walk, 
down the aisle together. Oh. I don't, isn't that, I, there's a song, but I'm doing End of the Road. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a guy just played me a song at work from Ray J. He's like, I hit it first. Swack, swack. When he's talking about uh, Kim Kardashian. Swack, swack. When Kanye West was dating her. He released a song where he's like, I hit it first. Swack, swack. Plus, it also kind of is a a flex on himself because it's like she obviously upgraded. Yeah. Do you, do you know he used to say swack swack? I, I don't. Okay. <laughs> um, I well, just keep saying swack swack. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In a song? No. No. Oh. Swack swack. He just inserted it. Body of a goddess face from hell. Yeah, so he's living there kind of now, but he vanishes for a little bit. By, he's... by living, he like goes to the bar in the basement and he like curls up in spots, but he doesn't eat and how much time passes. Yeah, and then these punks show up <laughs> i don't know why they're there and they go in i think they break in for some reason because yeah, it's a mansion and they're i don't know maybe they're on the road maybe and uh they go to the bar and they start drinking i often wonder how a girl with tits like yours could uh, find herself in a situation oh, shit, like yeah. that <laughs> what's happening is they're burning their hand on a candle mm. and the other guy's like i can do it and then he goes ah and they laugh at him, and he gets up and he runs away. Mm-hmm. And then we cut to him standing next to the corner of a bathtub with his pants down but his underwear on, yeah. and he's doing something, and he's crying. I thought you were talking about the punk that wandered off. Yeah, he that's what he does. He, he goes to the bathroom, and he's standing there with his pants down, and he's holding his hand, and then Afro comes in and kills him. He, he the, the door closes. As he lumbers at him, Afro lumbers yeah, at him comes real in, weird. Gets on him. And then the door it's like closes. Forty-five seconds. It closes ninety percent. Yeah. It's like forty-five seconds. It's a long and then time. it creeps back open, and there's <laughs> smears on the wall. <laughs> and then yeah, the door opens, and then yeah, there's just blood everywhere, and the guy's on the ground. Swack swack. Uh, the other guy and the lady, they're drinking some more. He's talking about the shot that he named cock. I'm wanting to call this drink. I'm going to name it cock. I'm going to name it. Ha! Yeah. Ha! Eventually, she doesn't like it. Afro is in the basement with maybe like a cattle prod or something, and he touches it to like an electrical board, and somehow it electrocutes the woman sitting on the stool upstairs. Stop that! No! So she dies. And she pukes. That was pretty good. And he was like, Damn. What's going on here? What? Yeah, you're fucked up. All right, uh, you just sleep. I'll be, I'm going to go. And then he immediately trips over a stool or a chair. Yeah. Oh, ass over kettle. Uh-huh. Breakfast to butt. And he's busted open. He goes, I'm bleeding, man. Was it from breakfast to asshole? <laughs> I think so. There is blood from asshole to breakfast in there. And then he looks up, and the afro, boosh, hits him with a fireplace poker or something. Yeah. Ka-choom! And uh, then eventually Jim wakes up, and he sees blood on his hands, so he goes to the bathroom. He finds a pretty, what looks like a pretty bloody rag, and he sniffs it, and then he wipes his hand, and then... He sees the dead guy on the floor, I think. But he's already got the wig on, which I think is that guy's wig? Oh, maybe. Maybe. And then he lays on the bathroom floor for an inordinate amount of time, and it's just drip-dropping. Drip-drop. Drip-drop. And again, like, whatever he's saying, you can tell that they didn't play a drip-drop while they were recording it, Mm -hmm. or a metronome or something, just to give him the rhythm. Because it feels like it should line up in a way but it doesn't looks he looks it looks good the way it's shot in that bathroom him cowering yeah he's got some good facial expressions he looks scared and then is he the one in a wig he's the one who's making making the the mace Mm -hmm. and that feels like the signal it yeah i'm like all right now it's a good movie and i was like i'm pretty sure that's jim so i guess he is the killer yeah because then he mutilates the dead body. Yeah, he beats on it. And then and then the lady comes up, right? The, the witch shows up. She sees Jim do his weird... Or she, she goes in there because she sees him outside lumber into the house. She sees, sees him outside. He's on the stairs 
looks like he's writing something while he's looking at the building. But he looks like normal Jim. So then she goes to the, the guy. Hey, did you see that guy over there? No, I didn't. Why are there people in here? Doors are supposed to be locked or whatever. There's been a problem with the mansion. Uh, someone's been snooping around. Uh, the doors were left unlocked. And do you know anything about this? And then when she gets in, now he's freaky deaky again. And I think she's doing like weird shit with that mouse. So maybe there's a little yeah. bit of time that passes. She's got something in her hand, the mouse, and like a rug over her or something. Yeah, maybe time does pass. And she's yelling out for him. He comes around. She's like, are you? Oh, are you McProfit? Because the kid shows up again with another kid. I'm cool. You're an asshole. Oh, yeah. And they're banging on the doors, and the other kid's like, should we be doing this? Like, You're a fucking pussy, man. I like your kid voice. You shitter. <laughs> it's Keith? Talking about Christine, man. No shitter ever came between me and Christine. Baby Keith. We found another Keith Gordon movie. A baby Keith in 1992, mm -hmm. even though he would be pretty grown. Almost dead. Yep. So that the, the kid does come back. But so that basically, yes, yeah, I guess she does something. He pulls off his wig and it's like, oh, and then he's the milkman again for a little bit. Well, no, the milkman comes back. She's like, are you are you the prophet? Are you make profit? And he's like. No, I'm I'm Jim. Jim. And then Jim the Parsons. Afro murderer, the real Mick Prophet, I think, Shows comes up. in behind her. And it's yeah. a weird, crazy shot where yeah. they're doing some sort of effect. And he's going to kill her. And Jim's like, no. But then he runs away? Yeah. Because then he gets a gun. He does. And he goes up to the upstairs. And the killer is there. I didn't realize this. The boy is chained up to like a box spring mattress or something is it like an electrocution thing they're doing to him it look like those beds with the springs sleepers there you go He's sleepering them mm -hmm. i didn't realize he had a knife to the kid i didn't at all i thought he was electrocuting him or something i didn't even realize he was even close enough and had an arm by him but apparently he does so jim just it's a consensual game they're playing shoots the fuck out of him <laughs> But he stabs the kid in the throat. Kind of slow. And the kid's just, and this is great, the kid's just dying. Jim. And he's dead. It's pretty awful. Yeah. He's like, damn, that kid's good. I hated him before. I put him back together. You feel bad. And then there's just more nonsense for a little bit. Talking, I think. Does he, like, walk away at the end? Is he just on the oh, road Oh, he gets again? into his boat rows away you see a little gym on a little boat in the distance so i mean probably like an eight right eight out of ten at least lost profit eight out of ten this is the gem you've been looking for head over to the cave of forgotten cinema you could tell him jason sent you but there's nobody to tell and they don't care i they don't know me yeah the producers of this movie were like their family yeah so this movie's I mean, it's. I think somebody described it as a vibes movie. That is totally it. It's kind of got a uh, Highway 60 some whatever vibe. That's not cool though, because that movie has something. Well, yeah, that movie script. bothers to like fill it in <laughs> with stuff that will make you want to keep watching it. This guy's got lots of style. He's doing a great job with that. He just has no money, and they had access to a house. Not a story. You know what? It's like Roadkill. That's what you're thinking. Roadkill of. 66. Nope. There's no number. Just Roadkill. <laughs> okay. It's like the weird moment inside the camper where the people are in there in shadows. Yes. It's that for a whole movie. Yes. Yeah. And the music's not good, but it's fine. Yeah. Oh, because it, it's uh, like slightly jazzy and then slightly like early 60s type music. But this felt like it kind of was supposed to be in the 60s. Maybe. They all have on polyester, psychedelic style shirts, afros. Mm -hmm. The kid kind of feels like he's got a 50s vibe. <laughs> he's Nelson. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it, you know? Did you look into anything about any of these people to see if anybody did anything else? 
Yeah, the guy who made it made at least... Oh, shit. He made at least one other thing where I took a screenshot of it, and I was like, what is that? That looks like a bad indie movie from the 90s that I'm kind of curious about. Hmm. I think the script was... The screenplay was written by... It's credited on IMDb as having three writers, but I think four or five people wrote on it. I think, I think it's because they're the, the actors. Yes. Yeah. And writing is probably very loose. It was probably like, hey, in this, why don't we do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. You get a writing credit. Writing credit. And like I said, their families financed it. So, yes, one of them was probably a caretaker or some shit at this place. Okay, Michael Avila? Fuck, I already lost his name. Yeah. Lost Prophet, 92. Bunsy's Last Call in 95. Oh. He directed that. I think I sent you that, maybe. Yeah. I'm a little curious about that. And then I guess he's the director of Lunkerville. 195 episodes wow. from 2004 to the 2022. Canadian. I think it's a public access show. Uh, efficient? Lunkerville, Mike D. casts his line at everyday recreational fishermen traveling to their secret spots and sharing their special techniques. Were you impressed that I knew Lunker meant fishing stuff? A bit. Good for him. God, this guy. I, do you kind of want to see Bunsy's last call a little bit? Uh, maybe. All right. What is your score for this? Oh, wait, okay, so what is your score for it as a movie? Because we got to do the spookometer, too. As a movie? Uh... Oof. Did you say boo? Boosh. 3.5? Okay, I'll, g- I'll give it a, a 3. Yeah, I give it a little bit of extra credit for the... It looks good. The vibes. Yeah, the vibes. The vibs. What, what would you give this as a movie? Wait, I, I mean, put, as a spooky. As a spooky? On the spookometer. <sighs> I forgot about the spookometer. We should have a spookometer. <laughs> two? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a two as well because, yeah, I didn't actually expect it to be anything more than just this forever. Uh, but then, like, there's, like, decent amount of gore and blood and shit. The, yeah. I, I thought the bathroom thing was a little long, but when the door swung open, I thought that was pretty effective. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. He really fucked that guy up. God, what an experience. Yeah. I was really pumped for it, too. I was like, this is going to be, this is an interesting choice, Jason. Jason, this is a good one. You did a good job. Yeah. (sighs) Okay, so go to the link tree? Yeah, go to, go to, um, we do in filmographies on Instagram. Yeah. And then from there, you can find our link tree to everything. It's link dot tr slash ee five nine three 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 four eight one two l zero l l tilde four. I thought it was link tr dot ee dot slash e. we do in filmographies. Yeah, that was a joke. Oh, yeah, funny. So it's unwieldy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been Jason, and you need to go to Apple Podcast and rate us, and suggest a movie. For us to watch maybe something like lost profit yeah and i've been jules and we did spookies Woo! Thin, <laughs> thin thin thinner I, I don't want you to be thinner i just want you to be thin